Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at the next 48 hours. The next 48 hours for the collective. Let's see what the next 48 hours has in store. And if you haven't watched my videos before, my name is Renee. And as I said, this is for the collective. This is going to be a timeless read, but we are going to focus on the next 48 hours. So, whenever you find this video is when this video was meant for you, and it'll be the next 48 hours from that moment. haven't liked and subscribed please do because it makes a huge impact on my channel I appreciate all of your support okay spirit guides and angels please deliver me a message for the next 48 hours the next 48 hours what the collective needs to know Five of Swords. Judgment. Devil and strength. Okay, get them all together here. And what you don't see on the bottom is the Queen of Wands. Here, very fulfilled. This is actually um, a fulfillment that you've been maybe manifesting for a while. This is something that maybe it's material abundance. 
but I'm feeling it's something that you, you're manifesting for a while. And I apologize. My cat, Prince, he's meowing like crazy. He's driving me nuts now. And you also have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is very supportive. He's very tolerant. He actually feels very deeply, but he also knows how to control his feelings. He knows how to control his emotions. So he's very skilled at his emotions. This may be you or someone else's energy. And now uh, the Five of Swords. Now, I'm not seeing conflict with this Five of Swords. I'm actually seeing maybe competition. Like this Nine of Cups. If this Nine of Cups may be a work situation, maybe it's in your company. It's that you're in competition for a promotion. But I believe with this Nine of Cups, your wish is being granted. You're going you're gonna to receive that promotion. And I think you'll receive news on that very fast. Within the next couple of days, you'll, you'll receive news within the next 48 hours. The judgment card, if you have some kind of court hearing or anything like that, I, with the four of wands next to it, I think that that's going to actually go in your favor. Or this could be just this could be just clarity on the situation. Maybe you're receiving clarity about a situation that's going to be very fulfilling to you. Um, this may also be support coming your way or a celebration. Maybe for the Halloween season, you're going to go to a few parties. You're going to be celebrating with family or friends. In the outcome position, you have the strength card and the devil. And I feel with the strength card, you should show self-love. I think that this is something that we should all do from time to time. But I think that this card is actually letting you know to take some time out for yourself. Um, with the devil, I feel like maybe someone's holding you back from that. Maybe you have a vice or, you know, some kind of obligation that's holding you back from taking time out for yourself. This can actually be addiction or, or, um, obsession of some sort. So don't binge watch Queen Sugar. <laughs> Make sure to take some time out for some self-love. Take a nice soothing, soothing bath, maybe meditate. Um, take time to rejuvenate and rest so that you're showing yourself that unconditional love and now the bottom of the deck as we said was the queen of wands the queen of wands is very fire energy she's very confident she knows exactly what she wants and she's a go-getter um, she's very self-assured and she's very attractive she's a beautiful queen and I think you should Kind of treat yourself as such. Treat yourself as the beautiful queen or king that you are. There's no gender to the cards. This could be 
a female or male. But yeah, that's what I'm getting. Let's try some clarification here. Let's try some clarification in these cards. Next 48 hours. Next 48 hours. Spirit. Can you let us know what the next 48 hours will tell? Can we clarify the nine of cups, please? What is in store for the next 48 hours? Oh, the Queen of Swords. Okay. The nine of cups and the Queen of Swords. Now the queen, she's very nurturing, healing. She's very supportive. So with the nine of cups, this could be very good energy. Something that's going to be very fulfilling and give you a lot of clarifying um, ability. I believe that in the next 48 hours, a lot of things are going to become clear. Um, you're going to understand them more clearly. Okay. For the Knight of Cups, we have the Two of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Two of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving energy. So I believe that that's going to be towards the end of the 48 hours. But the Two of Wands, I think that that's you making your plans. You're waiting for results on something. I believe they're going to come in at the last moment within that 48 hour period. I believe if it's a promotion that you're kind of striving for, um, I believe that yeah, it's, it's going to come to you as a surprise, but it's going to come to you at the very last moment um, when you least expect it. The Five of Swords. Can we get some clarity on this Five of Swords, please? The Three of Wands. Wow. And the Judgment. You've got the Judgment twice in this reading. Yeah, I believe that you're really going to this is something that's going to bring you a lot of clarity. This is going to bring you um, like a rebirth in the situation. And I believe you're going to have help through this situation. The Three of Wands is like teamwork. Maybe someone on your team, someone above you, is rooting for you to get this new position that you're hoping for. If this is a new position. But it looks it looks like someone's here to help you. The Eight of Wands. The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you actually... You're actually going to receive, you're going to receive news coming very quickly within this, 
this 48 hours. Kobe, get down. You're going to receive news. Sorry about the interruption. Okay, can I have a clarifying card on the judgment, please? Can you please clarify the judgments? The Eight of Swords and the Four of Cups. Wow, you're actually viewing this as something that you're actually viewing this as something that you haven't worked hard enough for. You're kind of feeling like you're missing the opportunity of the situation. But know that these are your own fears. You can easily, this girl can easily take off this blindfold and loosen the rope and just walk out of these swords. But see, she's standing in water. She's standing in her emotions. She's stuck in her feelings here. Step out of that and take a look at the gift that the universe is trying to give you. Don't try to daydream your opportunities away. Take hold of your opportunities and keep going. If you earn this promotion or whatever resonates in this reading for you, take it and run. You deserve it. Yeah, see, the Seven of Pentacles. It's something that you've earned. You put a lot of effort into this situation. You deserve it. Know that you deserve it. Obviously, the universe knows you deserve it. This is something that you've worked very hard for. And now you're kind of watching the effort of your work. You've had a lot of patience. But this delayed success is coming forward. It's coming forward to you. Within the next 48 hours, you'll receive word. Can we have a message for strength, please? Can you clarify the strength, please? Yeah, the strength. I feel like whatever you've been working on, keep working. You're on the right path. Um, keep building. Keep striving to look forward. Master your skill. And I feel like it's something that you enjoy doing um, with the Eight of Pentacles. It's something that you enjoy. Okay, and can I have some clarity for this devil, please? What is this devil in this reading? What kind of obstacles do the collective have to endure through this next 48 hours? What obstacles? What obstacles? the next 48 hours. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands again. I feel like, okay, in this situation, I feel like something's holding you back. Something is actually got a hold of you. If this isn't a person, um, this could be a Capricorn in your reading as well. Um, but if this not is not a person, this is actually something that you're obsessed with. Something that you are kind of working to overcome um, 
this could be obsession, this could be addiction, this, you know, and we're all addicted to something. It doesn't necessarily have to be anything um, bad as far as drugs, alcohol, or nicotine, or anything like that. We're all addicted to something. And I think that the Queen, Queen of Wands is actually saying that use your intuition. She's very intuitive. She's very creative, bold. She's a leader. She's courageous, confident. Use that confident in your best abilities in order to what, gain strength. You have the Queen of Wands. You have the Judgment twice. You have the Strength card. Um, I feel like Spirit is letting you know in the next 48 hours, use that strength as your best ability. Have confidence in the abilities that you have because those abilities will take you far. They are the topic of your success. And I kind of feel that. Now, it looks like this is actually turning out to be a career reading. So, I am going to use the Moonology Manifestation deck. I'm actually liking this deck, but it's very new. So, the card stack is really thick. And they're larger than normal as well, so... Please to comment below what you think about these cards. I'm kind of liking them. Although, yeah, they're larger than any other cards that I have. So it's kind of hard to kind of get used to grasping them. Okay, Spirit, next 48 hours, what do we have? For the collective next 48 hours please I feel this one's for you okay last quarter moon in Capricorn leave the past behind yeah what's what's left in the past is in the past let that past die because that's done and over with. There's no way to regain it. There's no way to change it. All you can do is move forward. And the bottom of the deck, first quarter moon in Pisces. Honor your feelings. Take time to regenerate, rejuvenate, rest, meditate, and focus on, focus on your future and well-being. Um, I feel like this next 48 hours is going to be maybe changing. This, this may be a life-changing reading for you. I think I'm going to take this deck since... Next 48 hours. Next 48 hours. One more shuffle. Yeah, the strength card. They have two strength cards in one reading, two judgment cards in one reading. That that's powerful. That's very powerful.
In what area are you lacking pleasure right now? Maybe in certain relationships or with work, it is possible to shift the seriousness of life to experiencing a more creative, wild and playful side of you. I think you should focus on that, kind of making yourself available for pleasure and play in your life. And today's soul action, it says, what would happen if you added more play and laughter into your life? What area is lacking this right now? Take time to play. Let go of any need to produce anything. So Spirit is letting you know, just stand by and just be present. Just be present in the moment. Make sure to laugh and play in the situation. Okay. And let's take a chakra card. Gratitude. Yeah, be grateful for everything that you have in your life. Um, spirit in the universe likes to be thanked for things that are happening. So, yeah, with anything that comes, show gratitude. Maybe start a gratitude journal. Show in your journal everything that you're thankful for, everything that you want to give gratitude for. You're thankful for family, for a roof over your head, for a job, for food. You know, just as simple as that is, just writing down the concept of being grateful, grateful for the moment, grateful for peace. It's very powerful, very powerful. So take time to show gratitude. Okay, this is the next 48 hours, and let's see, I'm drawn to pick one more card before we go. I'm drawn to pick one more card. Okay, monology. We have one card to end up this reading. The next 48 hours, spirits, guides, and angels. What does the collective have in store for the next 48 hours? Wow, okay. New moon in Libra. A new romantic cycle begins. Well, that just put a new dynamic on this reading. Because I believe, okay, so you may not have new love coming through here as well. All right. Yeah, see you have this again on the bottom. Don't let your past hold you back. The south node. And see so we have leave your past behind here. Okay. Well, if this is love, if this is a love reading, so be it. But yeah, it looks like you may have new love coming forward as well.